Shocking another one on the list. So tonight, from Magpie Brewery, based in, not far away actually, from the last last review, from Totally Brewed, they're only about a mile of that. Um, yeah, around about a mile. Yeah, another review. I wasn't going to, but sod it, eh? I'm not doing another review after this, though. That's it, you know. So this is the Affogato Imperial Stout. So it says it a great excuse to brew something special in our 1500 brew. Bourbon barrel aged indulgent imperial stout with bittersweet dark chocolate notes and complemented by a boozy warmth. Not off. 10.5% um, ABV. Lovely recyclable bottle. Ah, well, I've got another two of these. <laughs> so I might do that, actually. Well played. Yeah. At some stage, at least. So, yeah. And with this, I've actually got 10% off at the brewery. I've got four of them, actually, for 10%. I'm going to reuse these bottles when I go back, to, when I have a use. I might reuse them for homebrew, or I might reuse them um, when I go to the, to actually, to Magpie Brewery and get me 10% off. Might go in the shop. So, I'll pour it out. God, it's cold. Yeah, the, you know, a lot of these microbreweries, they do, they do takeouts. The, the shops, at least. I haven't got an adventure... I haven't got a magpie brewery glass, so I'll use my adventure beer glass. So, again, not much of a head on this. And the cherry one from the other day didn't have a, much a head on either. I don't blame them either. Uh, it doesn't bother me that it's in plastic bottles. Not in the slightest. 10.5% on this fella. Oh, let me just twiddle the camera around. I'm usually asleep by 8 o'clock. No, I'm usually cooking dinner about 8 o'clock-ish. Yeah, the glass is dirty now. I need I need a clean glass. Far too much far too much uh, messing about going back up to the house to clean the glass. So yeah, very black pour as you can see. An affogato, as somebody said the other day, I think is a coffee. So not much of a head on this. Then again, the other one didn't either. Uh, I prefer myself. Yeah, I love a I love imperial stouts. You know, I've got a the Imperial Russian stout that I'm brewing. Iceberg. Ooh, very nice. Cheers. Yeah, the Imperial, my Imperial Russian stout, the homebrew that I've done, tastes amazing at room temperature. So, but I'm in the beer room, you know, it's too much hassle to take them up to the ass to bring them back down. Plus, there's no room at the moment. Obviously, we've just got rid of Christmas. So... You know, ideally, for me, room temperature for these, not shed temperature. You know, it's not the warmest down there. And even with the fire on, it's not bloody warm. But, um, you know, sometimes it's interesting to drink, to drink beers at different temperatures. You know, all beers can be very different. Sounds lovely, that does. Affogato, coffee dessert, vanilla. Ooh, that reminds me, we've got a nice Bailey's Dome in the fridge. Mm. So, all about the ABV on the nose. I'm not really smelling the coffee at the moment. Or the vanilla, even. Oh, yeah. Ooh. You get a triple rush then. Yeah, you get both the the coffee, the vanilla, plus that bloody ABV that wallops you as well. Don't have any more than one glass. Jesus. Luckily, it's a 750ml bottle, so I might take some up the ass and drink some at room temperature. Yeah. <laughs> Been a strange year. 
never would we take Christmas decorations down on the, what is it, the 25th, 6th, 7th, 28th. This is the 28th, yeah. Never would we take Christmas decorations down on the 28th. But it's actually two and a half years now. Yeah, about two and a half years. Started off extremely slowly. And to be honest, only since lockdown has it perked up. But I've drank some bloody nice beer along the way. Yeah, the wife's getting me decorating. <sighs> Taurus, dark fruit. I can't remember, you know. I don't really buy stuff that's in multi-packs, but I'm going to have to at some stage. We decorated two years ago. And um, in fact, the front room, we've decorate, we decorated it. Then the sunny flow upstairs burst. And, uh, well, it overflowed, basically. And it took the ceiling. We decorated two weeks beforehand and uh, they made a right job getting the money off the insurance to redo it and it was a swine well I put mine up on November the 5th this year £2.85 is decent yeah it is decent and I'm, I'm going to do some more multi-packs this year because I've noticed that both Aldi, Lidl and maybe even the big supermarkets there's a lot of multi-pack stuff that I've not reviewed any excuse to drink a beer, you know. Yeah. Can't help but drink. I mean, this fella is £9.50 a bottle. And it's only because I got a bit of money off the internet. And I thought, well, you know, four bottles, 36 quid. I treated the wife to some leggings, as you do. You know, you sweeten the, you sweeten the deal. Because if I'd have just bought this, I'd have got a bollock in. Yeah, I try to keep away from the multi-packs, but I will have to start doing some. This is from Magpie Brewery, and it's an, it's a 1500 Tiding Stout or something, I think. Yeah, it's their special version of Stout. I missed some of them, but he comments them. And it's a Affogato Imperial Stout, which is basically a coffee vanilla espresso Imperial Stout at 10.5%. Red Stripe, I like Red Stripe, you know. Oh, no, no, I've not tried that one. There's loads, you know, like I said in the last review, you could go around Britain trying beers and you'll never, ever try every one. Because yeah, it, it, it is nice. It's going down a treat. At room temperature, much better. This temperature, it's not hitting me as hard. At room temperature, I reckon this would be pissed. 10.5% it is. Saddler's Christmas Pudding Stout. I do wish they bring out the 6% version next year. I'd love to get in touch with Saddler's. In fact, I might do it after Christmas, you know. I might actually email them. Can I ask you why you drop your ABV from six percent to four point five, and actually say to them, "Look, this was what this was the best Christmas beer out there, and you've dropped it, and it it, it don't taste the same anymore." And it's not because I like strong beers; it's just because it, it's lost its flavour, you know. And I like strong beers, obviously, you know, you know things into. Oh, I love Imperial Stouts, you know, and uh, this temperature, you know, yeah, all the B&Ms are like that, and you know something, that's very naughty, a B&M. When I worked at Sainsbury's, false advertising can get them big fine, and, uh, Somebody at B&M, you know, should be a bit cleverer than that because they they can get fined for that per store, you know. Yes, Hawk said at the start of lockdown, they bloody sacked all their, a lot of their staff, didn't they? Naughty, naughty, naughty. Navy rum is nice. Yeah, I had some, I uh, had some Captain Morgan the other day, very nice. Dark rum. Good evening. 
oh, so even though it's ch really chilled and it is it's bloody freezing the warmth that sits in my belly because of it is so it's got a real you know and you know these imperial stats they are indulgent yeah I, I, me for me personally no dark beer should be at, at chilled but you know it's this is a one off i might what i might do is take the other two bottles that i've got up the house and do them in the house the only problem is you don't get the beer wall at the back here which is much nicer than seeing the back of my kitchen which is a bit of a yeah old kitchen that needs renovating which is probably a job for this year at some stage we're all very different, aren't we, with beers? How we are, you know, temperature-wise. I know people that won't drink it if it's got, if it's warm. I mean, I went to the Sadler's Brewery tour, you know, and uh, they actually sent me some tickets for free. And uh, so a mate of mine went, there was a conversation on Facebook. A mate of mine, oh God, that's cold. Yeah, definitely. I, I, like, I like the warming up bit. No, no, it, it's too cold. We went on their, their tour and it was an amazing tour. I mean, free tickets for starters. I think the, the smaller breweries will release a massive amount of new beers. All the way through this, the, the breweries in Nottingham, the craft beers, breweries, they've absolutely upped their game. There are so many new beers coming out. The traditional ones, they've been a bit slower. There's always a huge demand, you know, for beers. I mean, we're all kids in the sweet shop, aren't we? We all want new beers. Me especially. You know. I go shopping. And I, I, we go shopping with the wife. And I'm not interested in the hotels. So I just go to the beer aisle. Just look around and think, oh, new beer. <laughs> One of them, one of them. You know, just pile them all into the uh, to the basket. Oh, so I lost where I was then. Uh, no, it's gone. No, it's it. It's only problem when you're talking so much. You forget where you are. Plus when you're drinking as well, you know. I've noticed that, uh, I think it's Retro's. Yeah, I need a beer all year round. Yeah. Just text the pain away from the, the real world, you know. <laughs> Gives you that breathing space to, be, between reality and yourself. <laughs> yeah, same here. I don't so much bother with the wines. I do like wines, but they're so expensive. You know, I mean, I've got some wines. I've got a bottle of wine over here that's like 13 quid for the bottle. And uh, that's going up the house, that is. And I'll drink that at room temperature. And uh, probably with a steak. You know, one night when we're doing a steak and, and enjoy it and do a probably do a, a review, but not have, once I've had the steak, obviously. You know, I'm not uh, eating and uh, doing a review at the same time, it's too much hassle, but yeah, lovely beer. Waitros, <laughs> Waitros do a uh, an imperial stout for something crazy like three pound fifty, and I'm sure it's about nine and a half percent. To me, any of the Yellowtail brand are amazing. Um, Yellowtail's Jammy Red Woo is a very sweet. Jammy Tail Red Rue is a very sweet red wine, but it's very nice. But yeah, any of the Yellow Tails, all of them are worth a punt. They're, they're, they're for me, they're the best introductory red wine out there. Before you get on the more serious brands. And the prices aren't bad. Obviously, Blossom Hill, Echo Falls, they're okay. But yeah, definitely, the whole Yellow Tail range is immense. From the whites to the rosés to the sparklings. Um, and the reds. Oh, bloody hell, that went quick. Missed them. Oh, shit, it's gone again. Camden beer. Oh, God. See, I need to. I think I think beer sales will go up sky high. They've got to because they, 
demand is there. You know, people want to drink, especially with this shit going off. No, no, no more beer reviews tonight. No, no, just this one. I'll be steaming after this, no mind anymore. Well, I won't be steaming, because if, if I do, the wife will have a moan. Imperial Lagers, yes. I did see that at Retro. Was it Retro's? The duty on, on beers is going to be interesting, you know. Uh, little breweries are going to struggle. Good evening. And this is the thing. This is a very nice Imperial Stout. You know, if you like Imperial Stouts, obviously you wouldn't drink it at the, at the temperature I'm drinking at. But, you know, this is an indulgence. £9.50 a bottle. You know, it's not cheap. But um, these beers, you don't, these Imperial Stouts come and go so quickly. I mean... Oh, back to work tomorrow. Oh, I do feel sorry for you. I'm going back next Monday, as in the 4th, and uh, two and a half weeks off, and, uh, you know, you think, oh, God. You know, in some ways, normality needs to reappear, doesn't it? But in other ways, you think, you know, back to work. And uh, Although today I've done a full grafting day, all day long grafting, and it's been good, you know, it's been good to be, keeps your brain going. Uh -huh, good old Tesco's, eh? I used to work for Sainsbury's, so I know, I know how you are. Yeah, I like the Sainsbury's days. Not the little bar stewards, who, little managers who walk around, young lads, walking around telling you what to do, and you think, fuck off. Yes, Red River is nice, but the Malbec, their whole range is amazing. Yellowtail Shiraz is probably, probably the best of the lot. But uh, the old range... Amazing range. Oh, three years on the checkouts. I couldn't do the checkouts. No, I've not tried Surrey Hills beer. Yeah, I couldn't do checkouts. Checkouts was a bridge too far for me. I'm all right dealing with people, but you know when you get somebody who says, I can get this cheaper at Tesco's, and you think, why the fuck are you insane with them, dickhead? This off the Tesco's. Well, bottle or can. Years ago, it used to be the thing that everything, it tasted better in bottle. Nowadays, it seems to be can is king. It's amazing how, how, how it changes. When I was at Sainsbury's, bottle was king. Now, can, probably. Yeah, it's, it, it's how it's changed. Ooh. really the ABV is really good on this not getting the coffee as much as I thought I would definitely getting coffee and vanilla that's what the affogato is but um, certainly the strength of it Ooh. I can feel it in my legs now so that tells you that it's walloping me but uh, I might as well finish the bottle off eh? Eh? not going to be asked to I did tell the wife that I'm going to have a good long review Little does she know that I'm two, doing two reviews, but, you know, what they don't know don't hurt them, does it? And I, and I suppose I've got plenty of mates out there who'd grass me up anyway, so I'm not too bothered. <laughs> she knows. She knows that I don't just drink one bottle of beer when I come down the shed. <clears throat> but hey-ho, you know, cheaper than going out. No, no, I'd unsubscribe her. I'd forget and leave the bottle down here for a week or two. Yeah. I definitely think um, if I do another one of these, and if I, if I know I'm going to do one, because sometimes I just look at the wall and think, oh, I fancy that today. You know, and now the Christmas tree's gone, I can actually see the whole bloody wall again. With that big own brew at the side of my head. 
Which is ever so funny. But but bless her, she got me a lovely sign, so I can't, I can't fault her one, one bit. And for Christmas presents, to say I'm 49, she's 46, we're still like big kids. You know, we like the surprise of Christmas. There's no worse than knowing what you're going to get. I'd rather not. But then there's the, the flip side of it is if someone buys you a present and it's a shit present and you think, fucking hell. And I know you're supposed to, you know, you're supposed to just be thankful for what you get. But if someone's bought you slippers and socks, you think, fucking hell. Oh. I'm trying to look where this salt jube type yeah is. Mm. Oh, that one. No. Oh, got me back. Oh. Okay, now I'll have a look later. The the old uh, beer's taking over. Yeah, they're both very good. Above the W on them. Oh, yeah. Thanks for that. Ah, yes, I had a salt beer last night. Very nice. Yeah, there, there is, you know, there's some amazing beers out there. And to be fair, you know, we're lucky. Because 10 years ago, there weren't near, nowhere near the amount of beers there are today. Nowadays, bloody hell, every brewery, every brewery is churning out so many awesome beers. Trying to keep up with all the new beers is impossible. You know, uh, I mean, I tried to give, you know, so much time towards Nottingham East Midlands beers, but then obviously doing all the rest as well. Nothing's empty. Every single thing on the beer wall is full. My mate walked in and we've known each other's, God, 15 or 16 years, if, if not more. And he walked in the shed and he said to me, there's empties. And I said, they're not fucking empties. They're full. Why would I keep empties? You know. I mean, I know some people probably do, you know, keep empties, you know, but why would you? You know, it just takes up space, doesn't it? Plus, at some stage, you've got to start polishing them and uh, taking the dust off. And then, uh, I've probably got about at least, at least 500. I just keep buying, you know. I don't know if it's about luck, but I think it's about greed in some ways. You just keep buying beers and then spirits and that spare money. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd like to review anything, to be honest. Well, I used to drink Guinness Draft um, when I used to go to the pubs in Nottingham. Neon Raptor, I've had some of theirs. Very nice, very nice. Braybrook, not heard of them at all. Oh, I don't know about the new Goblin at 9%. I would say for price, you can't be in supermarkets. You know, it is the best place to buy beers. But even nowadays, you look at supermarkets, they, with the craft stuff, it used a lot of it used to be on that four for six pound deals or, or, or equivalent. And nowadays, even, even the likes of Morrison's and Tesco's, more than anybody, they're doing like four pound cans, four pound, three pound, 50 cans. And I'll tell you what, I can't wait to start going around some breweries after this. I want, we as a family want to do, we love theme parks. So we like, you know, this Flamingo Land, Fort Park, uh, Chessington, Paulton's Park, Paulton Towers, obviously. We want to go around the theme parks. But while we're there, stop in the hotel. And if there's a brewery tour going off, you know, or a brewery tap room, go to that tap room. And I'm sure my wife won't mind sitting in the tap room drinking some beers. Flamingo Land, can't wait to try their new 10 inversion coaster. It's going to be amazing. And, uh, you know, it's a fantastic park. To say where it is. 
Are they? Ooh. If I remember when I go up the abs, I'll, I'll try and tap into it. I'm shit at forgetting, but that's, you know, that's how it is, isn't it? You know, you get to an age and you just forget stuff, don't you? Oh, definitely better at warm. Definitely better warm. And yeah, flipping out some nice beers. <laughs> Cheers. I don't know about that, but I would think there's a lot more beer reviews who know a lot more about beers than I do. You know, I'm just a normal person who likes a beer, basically. I mean, I worked in the in retail for five years, so you pick up some things, but yeah. Oh, so I've got the fire on one bar. It is Baltic in here, not warm at all. So, looking forward for the rest of the week. I'd like to see every single brewery doing mixed cans like you put on there. No. <laughs> I've tried not to watch that stuff. Yeah. And if the wife ever watched these videos and I, and I admitted to watching porn, I'd get a right arse all in. <clears throat> yeah. So I won't, obviously. Yeah. Oh, Brew York. Brew York makes some nice stuff. Although it, the bloke who does real ale, craft beer, whatever his name is, he did a tour of theirs the other week. I didn't watch it, but uh, I, I seen that he did it. It kept coming up on my bloody YouTube feed, and I'm like, great. And, uh, you know, I've, there's certain things I want on my YouTube feed. You know, when you go on YouTube's first page, and you're like, oh, God, I don't want to see that. It's off, it's off. And uh, there's certain things you want to see. There's a there's a, there's an eight percent they've brought out for I think it's, is it a Christmassy beer, and that was nice. That was. I'd love to do that. To be honest, you know he's been doing it. Yes, Nightmare Brew York. That is nice. To be honest, I'd love to do what he does. You know, go, and uh, because he's got the. I'll check them out. I'll have a nose at them later, if, if I remember, obviously. But, um, yeah, to go around breweries, you know. But, obviously, if you've been doing beer reviews for 10 years, like I think he has, you know, obviously, it's all about getting in from the beginning. Ooh, fried chicken. <sighs> I'm going to have some chicken in a minute. Chicken fillets, a bit of stilton on. Cook them together in the frying pan. And uh, job's a good one. Cheers. You never know, do you? But sometimes it's just about, you know, having a chat, isn't it? More than the reviews. Having a chat, having a beer. You know, you don't have to be an expert to review a beer. Oh, pine chips. I had fish and chips last night. The fish was really nice. The chips were, yeah, they were okay. <clears throat> yeah, chicken and Stilton tonight. Chicken fillet and Stilton, rather. You know, and then sit down in the front room and watch some that the wife puts on. Lamb chops. Oh, I love lamb chops. Minted lamb chops. Yeah, proper decent. Well, I'd better kill this with you. Bloody hell. Yeah, I've kind of forgot what the beer was now. I'm just drinking it for the sake of drinking it. <laughs> good evening. Have a good one. Mushy peas. It's funny, isn't it? You know, it's funny our blokes are. Most decent blokes, you know, they'll take a bit off the missus, they'll give the missus a bit. You know, it's all about a give and take, isn't it? And uh, my wife, she's the same. She'll, she'll give me a bit. But when she's out of order, I'll tell her off. When I'm out of order, she will definitely tell me off. And when she's wrong, 
which is right. And when I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But that's it, isn't it? That's life. <laughs> it definitely is. So for this, a lovely tasting beer. 10.5%, very nice drinking. This isn't the right temperature for it, but hey ho, if it tastes great at this temperature, yeah, yeah, she does. If it tastes great at this temperature, then at warm temperature, it's going to taste amazing. Remember that with all beers. All beers have the, the temperature that they're best at. Lagers, pale ale, uh, tomorrow. At some stage tomorrow, anyway. God knows when. Because the wife's going to drag me out shopping from lovely. But it is the mother-in-law's birthday tomorrow, so, you know, uh, some days you don't know. Um, but yeah, golden ales, pale ales, lagers, ciders, chilled. Dark beers, mostly, and stouts, definitely warm. So, Ooh, very nice. Um, for me, another great beer. You know, Magpie Brewery doing some amazing stuff. And, you know, there's no, 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 no reviews later. Unless unless she falls asleep and I feel like doing one. But it will come up on YouTube anyway. I mean, if I was, I was going to, I'd do a trifle. And the um, trifle cream liqueur from Marks and Spencer's. Yeah, no, she drinks Southern Comfort of all drinks. For me, you know, such a nice drink. Lovely that you get a discount on the next. Pricey, yes, but Imperial Stouts are pricey, which is always something to take in, in you know, in account. But there's a lot more than goes on. It's not a, a put it in a barrel, put it in a bucket and barrel, and you know, brew it one week later. It's a bit, no, 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 barrel aged. So it's going to cost a bit more. You know, there's more effort goes in. Out of five, for me, about a 4.54 out of five. Not quite as good as the other one. I thought the cherry came through a lot better. Maybe the temperature. It was warmer on the other review. I've got two more of these Imperial Stouts to review. So we'll see how it goes from there. But in any case, lovely. Oh. Now I feel half tanked. Thank you everyone for uh, commenting and uh, and that's been a good night. Yeah, enjoyed it. Sometimes you just need that bit of reality, even if it is virtual. Yeah. There'll be a time when we're all sat in a room and uh, yeah, not going down that road. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> Cheers. See you soon. <laughs> Fuck it. My mother-in-law's okay. She just needs to stand up for herself against the bloke she's married to. But anyway, you know, you see a lot of that in life, don't you? You know, blokes who are too much in the face. Things have got to be equal. And that's the thing. That's the way in life, isn't it? You know, some people don't realise that. Thank you all for watching. See you soon. Cheers.